Last night, police had to respond to the 15th homicide of the year, and this time the victim just 17 years old. It's Wednesday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Amber Kariska. Plus, another shooting in Peoria this morning leaves people concerned for safety in some parts of the city. Madison Porter begins our team coverage, and she talked to people in the community about what happened in the span of 12 hours, Madison. Imran Tyler, losing a friend at 17 years old is not easy. Community members are shocked and sad, but some are used to the constant violence in these neighborhoods. It's a lot, to be honest. This is seen video from Tuesday night's deadly shooting near the intersection of Kansas and Wisconsin. That's where police say they found 17-year-old Davi Brown Bay with gunshot wounds that took his life Wednesday morning. Brown Bay's friends were visiting the spot where he last stood. They wrote on the walls in his memory and circled spots where his blood didn't wash away. The Peoria County coroner says 17 is too young. Blood on a pavement, um, grave markers on the sidewalk for where their loved one was laying at age 17 years of age. You know, is, is this the product of, of our society? I can't even imagine what's running through their minds. And this morning, Peoria police were called to a house on East Illinois Avenue for another shooting. The violence that we're having here in Peoria um, is not um, unusual, to be honest, and it's, it, it actually matches trends reaching across the United States right now. Peoria police say they found a man with injuries who was currently in critical condition. People in the neighborhood say the alley behind the house where the man was shot is known for a lot of activity. They say about 30 people a day walk in and out of one of the houses on the block, and they constantly find needles laying in the alley. And we cannot continue to um, ignore um, the determinants and the social determinants of health in our community. People who live in the area have installed home security cameras because they say it just keeps getting worse. Peoria police say they patrol numerous neighborhoods, including that block, and if they see anything illegal, they step in. But neighbors wonder if cruising around the neighborhood a couple of times a day is enough.